So this morning, Mike started assembling my fireplace, electric fireplace, and there are a few things wrong. One of those, one of the things in there is supposed to be the holes are supposed to be on the outside. They were like flipped on the bottom or something, and then over here, one of those panels was missing. So it was just really annoying because I didn't know what to do. But I ended up calling Canadian Tire. Um, this is by Dimplex. Uh, for anyone who would is curious, it's Canvas Harlow by Dimplex or something. Um, and I called and, you know, told them the situation. So they're just going to give me the panel that we're missing, panel 8. Are you sure it's number 8? You're sure it's 8? Um, that we're missing. So that was good because I thought I would have to be all sneaky and buy another one and just take out the parts and return it. And But they were really great and accommodating. So we'll have a fireplace. But other than that, it was pretty easy to assemble, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Mike did it. But I'm so happy my mom found this. Like, she sent me a picture because it's a little, like exactly perfect what I wanted. And then it's going to go in the middle. And then the TV we're going to mount uh, on top so it's gonna look really nice I'm not gonna have this little janky table anymore but I'm really excited I think it's really gonna look nice hey y'all so I'm in Michelle's car and this is Michelle's hat for his Halloween costume he's coming out with a real treat of a Halloween video anyways I just bought a new camera I'm really really excited about it actually the girl who sold it to me actually is a viewer which was really fun and um, I had stuttered there for fun her name was Claudia. Her name she was, was really Claudia. Nice. Um, and I got like a really good deal on it. So Tony was all cocky because she's like, I got it on the last day of the sale when I said I wanted to get it. And then I ended up getting a better deal than her. Hey guys, oh my God, these glasses are so dirty. Anyways, Michelle just left because he has a lot of work to do for his Halloween video. And Mike and I are on our way to Canadian Tire because I guess they figured, well, whether we take hers back or whether she just comes and gets the panel, we're gonna not be able to sell one, so that makes my life a whole lot easier instead of having to cart a huge like fireplace back and forth, which I'm really excited to finally see. I hate when people do that. I'm really excited to find, finally see, and I'm so excited about my new camera. Michelle is gonna help me get all my lighting set up because he's so good with all that stuff, and we're just gonna revamp like my sit down videos, which I'm really, really excited about. And I think that's, I deserved an upgrade, you know, after. I, I got my camera when I was 16, so 17, 18, 19, 20. After five years, when it's your job, I think it's okay to upgrade. So, yeah, we're on our way to do that now. And it's another gross day. Ugh, why is every single Saturday disgusting? So it looks really nice. It looks like they painted these walls gray. Anyways. Oh, I'm glad to see that my sunglasses are here with Tony. Bentley needs to brush his teeth. You little teddy bear. Mike has dragged me into Canadian Tire. And I guess this is payback for all the years of dragging him into Sephora. I think I should get a toolkit though, because like you'd be surprised how many things you need to put together when you move in. Mike's occupied in like the drills or hammers, so I'm looking for fun stuff. The kitchen stuff. I don't really need anything right now. And you filmed it the right way. Someone on the face. So I was gonna unbox it, and then Mike was like, let's film an unboxing. So I got this at Best Buy, and it's kind of a funny story. You don't need to go all, <laughs> all that way back. Oh, you almost fell. That chair isn't very stable. Anyways, oh. No, but I have a funny story to tell. <laughs> You're giving a full box overview. This is real virtual, y'all. Can I tell the story? So anyways, Tony actually inspired this purchase because she... Okay, you're putting it on. She wanted to get a camera for her, for her channel, and so I like my camera. I have a Nikon D5100, but I got that when I was 16, and Michelle and Tony are always shitting on my camera quality because they're like, you need to upgrade, you need to upgrade. So sorry if you hear Sports Center. This is the only channel that plays on this TV. It's literally Mike's TV. I never watch TV. But anyways, um, Tony has been like bugging me to get a new camera. So she got a new camera, and then when I saw the quality on her new camera, I was like, okay, I think it's time to like invest and upgrade it. So I got the standard camera. Michelle also has this camera, but I don't think, I think he has a T3. 
He doesn't have the one with the flip out screen and I knew I wanted the one with the flip out screen. This is the Rebel, Canon Rebel and I'm used to Nikon so this will be, sorry I just glued on some nails and so they're long and like not really me. I kind of like the longer nails but I don't know. So this is the Canon, oh! I side note, I was the one who sent, who told Tony, Tony, go to Best Buy. This camera's on sale. It's normally like 780, but up until the 27th of October, it was 700. And then she went the 27th, and then when I saw her camera, the 28th, the sale had ended. So I found a link on Amazon, and Best Buy does price matching, so I was going to price match it. But when I went there, like I guess they have an even better sale. So I'm like, Tony, you're rubbing in my face that you got the sale and I got the better sale. So it came with a free tripod and this, I don't know what this is, platinum multi-coated UV filter. I'm really not sure what this is. But they, like it came free, so it's like two free things. Anyways, let's open this sucker up and see what's inside. I was so excited. So this is the warranty. Oh my gosh. Instruction manual. Do, you, do any of y'all read that? <laughs> I'm like, I'm bad, I don't. Um, Babe, can you come film this for me? So, here's the strap. Wire. Um, oh no. It's fine, it's fine. I think I missed everything. Though. No, it's fine, it's fine, it still records. Uh, battery, I'm guessing. And then this is the lens the charger <laughs> i don't know what this wire is here's my new camera the nice flip out it feels very light honestly Com maybe because the lens is not on it but i'm used to my camera feeling heavier tony says it's touch screen too so this is the lens i still remember when i got my nikon camera for my 16th birthday so three things I need, well I guess four technically, four things I need to return to Sephora this week. Um, I ordered these during the Sephora sale, um, the employee friends and family sale because I had swatched these in Sephora and I really liked them and then I tried to apply them and honestly I hated them. So I know it's the Sephora VIB Rouge sale and like you know it's not that expensive and you get a discount but I just, I don't believe in keeping things that you really don't like and I know I'm not going to use this. So. Um, I'll tell you guys what the shades are, but now I need to figure out a way to unpackage this so I can return them because even though like I got a discount, they're still like probably around twenty dollars each, and that's sixty dollars. So I'm gonna return them because I don't think they're good. I don't know. I swatched them and they seem pretty, but I don't know if it was the Sephora lights or what. But they're really not worth it in my opinion now. Hey guys, so it is around ten forty three. I'm just about to upload this video and I know I look like a mess I've had my makeup on since early today <laughs> and I'm about to go take off my makeup I've been cleaning and everything um so yeah I was cleaning and I'm oh my goodness so yeah I was cleaning and we went out for dinner tonight with our friend Darren we went to this um, restaurant it's like an Irish pub it's called McGibbons I think there's a few in Montreal um, but my favorite thing there is the chicken leek pie. It sounds like so off the wall, like for me, like it's not something that I would typically order. One time I went with my mom and she got that. Like, it's not like, honestly, if I ever saw that on, on a menu, that'd be the last thing I would ever order. But my mom got it and she was like, oh my gosh, you need to try this. So I tried it and it's seriously the most incredible thing. It's like the best food ever on a cold night. It's the best. And I mean, I don't know. The food there is really, really good. It's like an Irish pub, like, bar sort of thing, but the food is, like, out of this world. It's, like, one of mine and Mike's favorite restaurants, so if you want a good pie, like a savory pie, if you like chicken pop, I'm not the biggest chicken pop pie fan, but the chicken in this is so good. The flavor of the leek is just out of this world, so... I, we, I had that for dinner, and then um, Mike went to go watch his friend's hockey game, and I came home because I was really, you know, tired. I had a lot of, I wanted to clean, and um, I was really cold, so I didn't feel like watching a hockey game. So I came home, and I cleaned up the my beauty room. I put away a lot of things, and that's, like, my next project. I know what my bedroom should be my next project, but this is the, that room is my next project because it's where I'm going to be filming because Michelle and I, well, I'm really revamping my sit-down videos. So definitely let me know what 
sit down videos are your favorites of mine. I know you guys really love the vlogs, but I do like to incorporate some sit down videos. Um, that's where that's like how I started YouTube, and I that's what I like to do also. So I have to do what I like, and I mean, if you like my vlogs, like I throw things in. I'm not just going to sit there and be like, okay, so this lipstick is by Sephora, and it's the best lipstick, and this swatch is here, and this is that. Like you guys know, I'm going to put my own little twist on things, and I'm coming up with new series ideas. So I'm just really excited. So even though I know you guys love vlogs, I hope you'll like my new sit down videos. Also, I just got a new camera, so I'm really invested in this, and. Um, I'm happy you guys have been so receptive to Vlogtober. I've been getting a lot of questions about if I'm going to continue vlog vlogging. And yes, definitely. I definitely will continue vlogging. I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do just because I feel like you get to see a glimpse into my life. And it's just fun. It's just sometimes I don't want to talk about makeup. It's just fun vlogging. Um, it can be hard sometimes letting people in like that every day because... As you guys know, people can be very judgmental, and I think that is one of the fallbacks to vlogging. I watch um, Lynn's DeFra DeFranco. I love the Philip DeFranco show, and I started watching his wife Lindsay's vlogs. And if you like me, like, I think you would really like her. Like, I really like her. She's very snarky, and, you know, people say she's aggressive in her replies sometimes, but... The thing is, is I don't think that you understand what it's like to be a vlogger unless you are a vlogger. But especially if you're a vlogger, like, Lindsay, like, Phil has, like, one of the biggest shows on YouTube. So, like, she has a way bigger following than I do. So, I'm not saying, like, oh, if you have a following. But, like, if you have a following, vlogging is way more intimidating, I feel. Because I mentioned this in a video. I was like, well, I don't understand why my sister doesn't get, like, as much hate or stuff like that. And it's, I know, like, the more subscribers you get, the more hate you get. Like, I know that. It's not new to me. Like, I'm very well versed in that. Thank you. But what I was just saying is I feel like when I said that about Tony's, people are really aggressive, like, mean to me and Tony. They try and pit us against each other. I'm like, she's my best friend. I would die for her. Like, I, so I don't think it's right when people do that. I also got some questions like, where are all these hate comments that you always talk about? You have to understand that I choose to keep my comments a very positive place and as a YouTube creator you're able to put certain keywords um, to allow them to be flagged. I actually had to put vegan in there at that point so that, like let's say I put the word cat in my keyword flagging thing if someone wrote oh you have a nice cat that comment I would have to approve. So over the years you know I've noticed a trend in hate comments that I tend to receive on my channel and so I put those keywords into place just because I like to keep my comments a very positive place. If you wanna, you know, try and get a jab at me, don't worry, I still read your comments even if those keywords, you know, didn't, don't let you post them to everyone. But yeah, just because you don't see them doesn't mean I don't see them. But anyways, I was talking about how Lynn DeFranco, she always gets like attacked um, for how she's mothering or because she cusses or stuff like that. I wish everyone could vlog with, and everyone who's like very critical about people, I wish they could vlog with a big audience right away just to see all the things that they do that they probably don't pick up on. I mean, people will call me out for like the stupidest things or or call other people out for stupid, stupid things. And I look at all the positivity on like my sister's channel and Michelle's channel and I'm so happy that their, you know, responses have been so positive because... I'm not taking away from them or anything or saying that like I gave them all those subscribers because obviously if they didn't have good content, no one would subscribe. But I think that a lot of people did go over and subscribe to them because they re they liked me. Those are the people who support me and they support the people who are closest to me. So obviously the people that go over to their channels and subscribe will be more positive and, you know, kind. <laughs> um, at least I hope so. I don't see the point of going over to someone's channel if you already know you don't like them. So, Michelle's comments are always so nice and so fun whenever I read them. And my comments, too, they're, I don't want to diminish anything because my comments are always really, really, really nice. I see, so I get some, you know, mean comments every video, but none of them are, like, the amount doesn't even compare to the amount of support and love I receive. But, um, I guess, like, what I'm trying to say is, like, I get that Tony and Michelle get don't get hate comments because... They have a smaller audience, and also the people that watch them, I think, actually <laughs> actually like them. So, I don't know. Like, sometimes I'll read, like, Linz DeFranco comments, or even sometimes people will say to me, like, you seem so defensive, or you seem, like, aggressive, and stuff like that. And 
I mean, after a while, constantly people telling you, you're not doing this right, you should be doing this, why aren't you doing this, and like, why aren't you, like, constantly being called, your, like, choices being called into question, I mean, I think everyone will kind of hit the, hit the roof at some point, or reach their breaking point, and start getting defensive, or getting aggressive, and when I see people call Lindsay aggressive or defensive, I mean, I love her videos, I personally don't think she's aggressive or defensive, but I can see how people could interpret it like that, but like some of the things she'll say, like one time, I forget what, what happened, but she posted this very like tongue-in-cheek video, like, oh, if you didn't like this video, then here's like 20 minutes of Trey playing, like her son playing, and that's something that I would do, <laughs> but it's like people always love to like call out people for certain things without thinking about it, um, so the, a perfect example would be the whole vegan situation on my channel, and I tweeted about this, and I said that on my channel, I wasn't calling out vegans. I wasn't, you know, coming onto my YouTube and be like, all you vegans, you need to be eating meat. You need to be, have blood dripping down your face. You need to be eating meat. Like, I didn't do that. Um, so when I started, I, I think I posted like a what I eat in a day video, and as you guys know, I do eat meat, and I would get a lot of comments from vegans. I don't know how they'd find my channel. I wasn't tagging them vegan, vegan, vegan. Um, I don't know how they found my channel, but I would get tons of comments about, you should try a vegan diet, try a vegan lifestyle. I'm like, I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to be vegan. Um, so I would get those comments and then I would say like, oh, like that's not for me, whatever. And then they get mad and it turned into this big thing where I was constantly being attacked. And again, you guys didn't see those comments because I eventually had to like filter them out because they were just being, I was getting like attacked by these vegans. Um, and then people were thumbsing it up and it was just really annoying. So I just was like, you know what, let's just cut it from the get go. They can comment, I can read it, but it's not going public. Um, and so in turn, like I felt really attacked and so I got defensive. And so that's when I think the whole people thought I, th people thinking I, I hated vegans. I think that's where it came from because I was constantly getting comments. I was constantly getting attacked. So then I would turn it around because I was feeling like I needed to defend myself. And I got, I guess, in turn a little bit, not aggressive, but just defensive about the whole situation. Um, and I could see definitely how Lindsay could get that, could also, she could also come across that way. But you guys have to understand that sometimes when you're constantly being told you're doing this wrong or that one or this or that, you can kind of, it kind of gets annoying. So... Yeah, I don't know why we're having this little heart-to-heart -heart right now. Oh my god. Oh, why do I get these? All the time. I get I get those all the time. Ugh. So yeah. Oh my god. Why am I getting these? Just from touching my chest? Like, anyways. So, yeah. I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I talked about this on Twitter, but... You know, once I started calming down about the whole vegan situation, and I didn't feel so attacked all the time... Um, I realized that me being aggressive is only like fueling the fire. So once I started, you know, saying it, these are the, like, this can definitely be adapted into like a vegan lifestyle or whatever. I felt like I was being more respected when I wasn't being respected or when I felt like not disrespected, like, ugh, but like when I felt like I personally like attacked for my decisions, I wasn't as open to it. And I'm not, I'm not going to be vegan. Um, at this point in my life, I have no intention of becoming vegan. But I just think that sometimes, um, I don't know, like some people can be bullied into things, but I'm definitely not the type that can be bullied into things. I can stand my own. Um, so that just, it was not a good mix. But once I started calming down about the whole situation and just, you know, I guess speaking more calmly and thinking more calmly about it and not feeling so attacked, it just all turned out for the best. So yes, I am dying to take this makeup off. I hope you guys enjoyed this little heart to heart. I have to edit this now and get it up before uh, midnight. Can't believe October is almost over, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm gonna be a little bit happy when it's over because I love doing videos, but every day sometimes it's it's not, I don't wanna be like, it's so hard because obviously this isn't like hard, like being a surgeon is hard, but it is, um, sometimes there's not much to edit and then I'm like, do I just film random shit and try and fill it up? But uh, today was a pretty chill day, so. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and edit this and get this up for you guys. I hope you are having a safe Halloween weekend. Please be safe. I mean, people must be going bonkers, especially with this clown shit. 